All right, hey there guys, welcome. Welcome to this uh, live video that I'm doing today. Um, for this video, I just kind of want to discuss uh, a little bit about football and kind of look into the idea of my favorite image of uh, Johan Cruyff as a footballer. Uh, if anything, let's see if I can bring it up. Hello, hello, let's see if I could bring it up. Let me see. Let me see. Boom. All right. So basically, this is my favorite image here of Johan Cruyff. As you can see, he is uh, in uniform for the national team, the Dutch national team. And uh, to kind of get an understanding and to really dive into this analysis of uh, my favorite image of Johan Cruyff, I also think it's important to have a real understanding of what soccer, football was like in the 1970s. If we can wrap our head around that, we can kind of grasp this image a little bit more as well. Uh, and so when we look at that, part of football in the 1970s uh, what we can say is that you can make the argument that the 1970s was the golden age of football basically uh, in the 1970s you had a generation where uh, s speaking specifically about what was booming you can look at it and say that during the 1970s, football got to the global stage simply because you had more newspaper companies out. You had more televisions out. You had more magazines that were out or being published. And all these uh, types of media were able to put their lens or their focus specifically on football. So now you have all these players, all these clubs, all these major tournaments like the World Cup and the Euros getting a lot of spotlight through television, through the newspapers, through magazines. And it puts these players in a really, really uh, micro lens. You really zone in on these. And to that extent, these footballers... Uh, because of their rich social life as a player, they kind of become regarded as celebrities, basically. So now we have this generation where footballers are more exposed, more out to the public eye. You have more young people interested in the sport. And basically, these guys are the focal points. They kind of have this celebrity status. And then when you add that to the fact that these players like Johan Cruyff or George Best, even Pelé at the time, when you add that fact that these players are not receiving high wages to play football, that kind of elevates them even more. And on top of that, because of the celebrity status, uh, you can see now that basically they are getting sponsorship deals now. They they become this these icon for these brands, whether it's Puma, whether it's Adidas, whether it's a soda company, whether it's a vehicle. You know, they're the face of football and now these brands. They're getting these high wages for playing the sport because they are a very high level of football. And then you have all this media attention pointed down at them. And they have this celebrity status. So now, basically, you can kind of say that uh, this generation of football, the 1970s, is the golden age of football. All these things weren't done before. It's now coming in. And it's being elevated to a high point. And players like Johan Cruyff, George Best, uh, stuff like that, are coming in and they're the ones on the spotlight. 
not only that, but basically the fact that you have these high quality talented players emerging in a spotlight during this time period gives it that much more touch to the golden age generation. Now, when we discuss football being at its height, we can kind of transition over and look at the image again here and really say that Johan Cruyff himself was at the height of his football. Uh, as you can see here, Johan Cruyff is standing uh, in uniform with the Dutch national team jersey. And uh, basically in this image, uh, he is perhaps, he's, this photo is taken around 1971 to 1973, 74. Johan Cruyff is ba basically around 23 or 25 years old here in this photo. Now, by this time in his age, he is uh, at the top of his game, has won two, three European titles with Ajax. He has won uh, the Ballon d'Or two or three times consecutively now, back to back. And so he is at the prime of his game. He would go on to leave Ajax and make a move to Barcelona here, as you can see. But he basically made himself coming out of the Academy of Ajax, elevating the club at the highest part of their game, uh, known as total football, as what they would call it. And he would go on and make a move to Barcelona and set a record uh, for the highest paid transfer for Ajax uh, at 2 million. And so we see him here at the height of his game and he's wearing the Dutch national team uniform. One of the significance of this is that basically when you see yourself uh, playing for the national team, like Johan Cruyff is doing here, that is every footballer's dream. Uh, to have the ability to represent your nation must be a big achievement as a player. And then to go on and win that, uh, win a trophy like the World Cup as a player of the, of your national team, that is basically one of the biggest achievements that, that you can have as a player. Second, uh, we see the simplicity of the uniform. You know, uh, basically, uh, when you look at this, national team jerseys aren't allowed to have any sponsorship. There's no brands on that. And the 1970s, it's basically reflected there. Uh, you can see that there's no sponsorship. There's nothing like that. And while that jersey is sponsored by Umbro, uh, there's nothing on there to kind of symbolize that. So you have the beautiful simplicity of what the uniform is here. The jersey, the shorts, the socks. Uh, that's another reason why you, I love this image of Johan Cruyff. Uh, basically, a third, basically, a third part is that um, Johan Cruyff at this point in his career is at his highest. He is, uh, you might not be able to see it. Uh, let me see, okay. But basically, at this part of his game, now hold on. Basically, at this part of his career, you, Johan Cruyff is uh, in his sponsorship with Puma as part of the health celebrity status that he's gaining. And uh, if you can see in the image down there, he's wearing those Puma cleats at the bottom of his at the bottom of your screen. He basically is uh, the face of Puma, and he is the best player in the world. So now he has a sponsorship with Puma. I guess what I'm trying to say is this image here really captures who Johan Cruyff is as a player. He is at a point where his game is elevated at the highest. Um, you can see him here wearing the national team jersey with pride. He has his Pumas to reflect that celebrity status that he has acquired through his great talent and hard work as a player. And basically, uh, this is Johan Cruyff in his youth at his prime. And to me, this is my favorite photo of him. 
There are multiple photos of him, as you can see in Barcelona, other images with the national team. A younger, a younger Cruyff with, uh, at Ajax, with the Ajax jersey. Uh, but to me, uh, this is my favorite jersey, or image, I should say, excuse me, of Johan Cruyff. And this simplicity photo really captures, uh, to me, the golden age of football in the 70s. The cult celebrity status that footballers got. The simplicity and pride of wearing your national team colors. And uh, the fact that someone like Johan Cruyff is so elevated that he has his own sponsorship. He's the face and image of these brands. And in this case, it's... Uh, Puma with his cleats down there. So that's basically what I wanted to kind of look at and touch with this video here. And uh, if anyone has any questions or comments, do let me know. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and checking out this video. I appreciate that. I hope to be bringing out more content like this uh, where I kind of dive into things and do some ana analysis. And uh, not just give jersey reviews, although I really do love doing that part of my videos. But touch topics like this and really trying to dissect and wrap your head around it, analyze it. And try to, you know, bring awareness or acknowledge the significance of these kind of things. So I appreciate your time. Thank you again and have a good one. Bye-bye.